Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flick Director. I give you guys the latest that happened in movie news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Oz Appointment, and I'm going to jump into probably the story that really confused me because I know a lot of people were not fans of this character or this actor in general, with the character I should say, but that is that apparently Jared Leto's Joker is getting a solo movie, which I guarantee me to everyone think this. Uh? Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm one of the few people that did not hate Suicide Squad. I don't love the film, but I do think it's a fun action film for what it is. And I didn't mind Jared Leto's Joker, if I'm being honest with you guys. But I know that there were tons of people that were not fans of how Jared Leto portrayed the Joker. I know my boss at Flick Direct loved Jared Leto as the Joker, so he's gonna be happy about this. But the fact that Jared Leto's Joker is getting a solo movie, the fact that Harley Quinn is getting a solo movie, the fact that all these DC caters are getting a solo movie where the Cyborg still hasn't been filmed yet, where the Flash hasn't been filmed, where that Man of Steel 2. I know a lot of people say that Batman v Superman is technically Man of Steel 2. I don't think it is. I do not. It just boggles my mind that there are so many of the primary Justice League heroes, particularly with Cyborg and the Flash, that still have not gotten their solo movies when the Joker solo movie and that Harley Quinn solo movie are more in development than those two are. It just doesn't make sense to me. But this is what I'm gonna say to Warner Brothers at the moment. Pump the brakes on these solo movies, okay, you guys? Focus on the films, or the most important films. Now I would say probably say go to the secondary characters, then probably the ones that are less important, but focus on the characters that were introduced in Justice League. Focus on those guys, then move on to Joker, then move on to Harley Quinn. I guarantee we can wait on a Harley Quinn movie. I guarantee that we can, as much as I love Margot Robbie in that role, but seriously, pump the brakes on them, focus on Man of Steel 2, focus on Wonder Woman, not Wonder Woman, that's coming out, but focus on Cyborg and The Flash, and then afterwards, do whatever you guys want. I know they probably won't listen to me, but just giving my two cents is all. I hope you guys are excited for Quentin Tarantino's next film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Well, if you guys are, get ready to be even more excited, because just recently, it was announced that Al Pacino is joining the cast of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Let me actually just show you guys a list of the cast. Look at that list. And Al Pacino is joining these guys. Oh. My. God. As if I could not get more excited about this, guys. I mean, we have Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, among the other cast, and now Al Pacino joining. And I think this is actually his first time in a Tarantino film. Cannot freaking wait for this movie seriously as if i couldn't be more excited again as i say that once more but seriously bring this damn movie on already seriously bring it on and our final news story of the day is for you fans of kick-ass and king's mother because get ready because not only will there be new king's men and kick-ass films planned but apparently there will also be a TV series planned for Kick-Ass and Kingsman. Now, apparently Matthew Vaughn just came out in an interview saying that, yes, there will be more Kingsman and Kick-Ass out there. While I would love for him to direct Man of Steel 2, I do see why Matthew Vaughn's heart is in the place, especially for Kingsman. Now, of course, the Kingsman franchise, there is a third one already being planned. It's being written, as I remember correctly. There's also a statement spinoff coming out as well. And for Kick-Ass, for some time, there has been a talk of a Chloe Grace Metz spinoff on her, on her character Hate Girl, which I think would be an amazing idea. But apparently when it comes to Kingsman, the TV series is going to be called Kingsman the Golden State, if I remember correctly, I'll put the actual name right here. But apparently this TV series will be set at the turn of the 20th century, which I'm actually very interested in if you ask me. I think this is going to be a great idea for Kingsman, I'll be down to watch this. I'm a bit mixed on this because while I love that Matthew Vaughn loves these two franchises, I would love him to see do something else. Like I said before, Man of Steel 2. At one point, he was attached to a project called I Am Pilgrim, which was a spy series, which, I mean, come on, that's what Kingsman's for already. Though, if you do ask me, I do really want to see that Chloe Grace Smith's Heck Girl spinoff, and I do really want to see this Kingsman TV series. That actually sounds really cool. Alrighty, guys, and that is all that I have for movie news this week. Guys, please comment down and let me know below. How do you guys feel about Jared Leto's Joker getting a solo movie? Are you guys big fans of that choice, or would you rather see, you know, the other standalone films being prepared like Man of Steel 2, Cyborg, or maybe even a Green Lantern help? Also, how do you guys feel about Al Pacino joining the cast of Quentin Tarantino's latest film? Does this guys make you even more excited? And finally, how do you guys feel about more stuff added to the Kick-Ass and the Kingsman franchise? Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to see more just like this one. If you guys want to see any of our previous two shows, please click either right there or there. And of course, until next week, we will see you guys next time. Have a great week, guys.